Topic for today is about glutathione and disc degeneration and herniation. Glutathione is the most powerful antioxidant. A key to prevention of degenerative conditions. To reduce inflammation and cell damage, an antioxidant like glutathione can neutralize free radicals responsible for oxidative stress that increase risks of age-related diseases. Degenerative disc disease is a condition that is most responsible for spinal surgery and can result in low back pain and lumbar disc herniation. There are several factors that we may consider in this condition. First it can be genetic. Nutrition disruption. Injuries. Overloads. Extrinsic or things like too much compression on the disc. Intrinsic or internal chemical factors. Therefore, combating spinal degeneration means an approach that includes both biomechanical and biochemical factors for both prevention and relief of subsequent back and neck pain. While antioxidants are available in food like vitamin C, glutathione is so powerful, it has been called the master antioxidant. It boosts immunity, supports mitochondria energy production, helps protect fat oxidation, and assists healthy brain function. Optimal levels benefit the cardiovascular system, vision, gut and fat burning ability. Insufficient levels are associated with neurodegenerative diseases with increased levels of oxidative stress in the brain. The documented benefits of this natural detoxification agent are numerous, however, we focus on reducing oxidative stress and the relationship for better joint health. Oxidative stress is related to age-associated disc disease. Glutathione has been shown to have a protective effect on disc cells. So, while the body makes its own, mental and environmental stressor like working a stressful job or breathing dirty city air quickly depletes these stores. Therefore, a supplement can be beneficial for therapeutic reasons. Chronic neck pain is long-lasting after three to four weeks of pain with an injury or ongoing neck pain beyond one month, the condition is considered chronic. Chronic neck pain may result from improper treatment in the early stages of a neck injury or a condition that persists for months or years. Increasingly, degenerative disc disease is viewed differently from the normal process of degeneration associated with aging. Is degenerative disc disease painful? Neck and back pain is strongly associated with degenerative disc disease. The diseased state of disc degeneration is also associated with sciatica and neck disc herniation and back disc herniation. The process of degeneration alters disc height and the mechanics of the rest of the spine and may cause problems with other supporting structures such as muscles and ligaments. The long-term consequences are spinal stenosis, narrowing of openings that can place pressure on nerves and the spinal cord, which is a major cause of pain and disability. The incidence of degenerative disc disease is rising in the population and is the reason for over 70% of all spinal surgeries. The process of degenerative disc disease the disc sits between two spinal bones and consists of a soft nucleus, yellow, and firm annulus, blue, a healthy disc acts like a waterbed. There is a high water content in the nucleus and inner portion of the annulus which allows this portion of the disc to act as a fluid. The outermost part of the annulus acts as a skin or the covering of a waterbed to restrain the inner portions. This creates hydrostatic pressure to reduce loading forces. Spinal discs have been described as shock absorbers, however, they are too stiff to perform this function and act to allow proper motion between spinal bones during movement. The main function of the disc is mechanical as it transmits load from body weight and muscle activity and provide flexibility, allowing bending, forward, backward and sideways, and rotation. With increasing age, the water content of the disc decreases, forcing the disc to act more like a solid and resist mechanical loading in a haphazard manner as the hydrostatic pressure is reduced or lost completely. And the healing process is taken over by severe degenerative changes. The disc has little blood supply and cannot readily heal from injuries. Nutrition is through a process called diffusion where nutrients travel through the end plate. The end plate is porous and permeable to allow the transport of nutrients. This permeability and the ability to transport nutrients normally decreases during growth and aging, however, it increases when there is disease due to disc degeneration and following end plate damage. 
This is one difference between normal aging and degenerative disease process. Additionally, nerve fibers normally only penetrate the outer area of the annulus, however, in degenerative disc disease, the nerves are noted to progress towards the nucleus and is associated with pain and inflammation. Back pain from the disc is usually started by physical disruption, and made worse or very painful by inflammation and low-level disc infection. Risk Factors for Degenerative Disc Disease One of the highest risk factors for degenerative disc disease is genetic inheritance, estimates over 50% in the lower back as well as in the neck. The primary factors associated with genetic influence related to degenerative disc disease is disc height and disc bulging. Stronger genetic effects are associated with earlier onset of degenerative disc disease. Tungsten is used in many industrial goods, military applications and medical devices, however, emerging evidence has questioned the safety as studies have shown it can promote tumor formation, induce pulmonary disease and alter immune function. Although it is excreted from the body it can accumulate in certain organs such as the brain, colon, liver, kidneys, spleen and bones. Why is the disc so important? The discs of the spine serve as spaces to keep correct spinal alignment and allow motion in between spinal bones. Preserving disc height is essential to the health of the spine and remaining free from related pain syndromes. The disc has no direct blood supply. In fact, it is the largest structure in the body without a blood supply. Since it does not receive oxygen carrying blood as the heart beats, it must use a process called diffusion to acquire nutrients essential to maintain a healthy disc and to increase its ability to heal.